Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode of Practical Skills Minecraft and in this one we're going to be taking a look at a new and improved version of the automatic tree farm that I uploaded just over two years ago now, which I have to say is really quite scary. I can't believe it was that long ago. It feels like just yesterday I uploaded that thing. But anyway, moving on from the fact that I feel like time is passing me by very quickly, how about we take a look at this new and improved design. Now the improvements are really quite simple. This design is faster and a little bit easier to build, which in my opinion are the two most important improvements that you can make. All you have to do is stand on this pressure plate right here that activates the entire design and we just hold down the right click button and as you can see trees begin to grow and that's just how it works. Trees grow, they get pushed across and put into the big storage unit off to the left and that's where you can go with your axe, swing it about a bit and get a ton of wood. Now in case you're wondering we do also have some leaf crusher mechanisms on either side of the trees that break down the leaves giving us saplings and apples. Those saplings and apples then fall down into those hoppers down at the bottom there and they make their way into these chests. And as you can see, there's a bunch of them inside, meaning that you can keep harvesting trees for days. Now up at the top, we also have the bone meal input. Of course, we've got a dispenser down at the bottom there, which is filled up with bone meal, but you will fly through an entire dispenser's worth of bone meal very quickly. So it's probably a good idea to have a bulk storage system. And as you can see, I've pretty much covered that and it's integrated entirely within design, which is something that I really quite like. All of the bone meal filters through into this chest that makes its way through all of the hoppers and down into the dispenser. Now I know for a fact that there are going to be some people down in the comment section already telling me that this isn't a tree farm, it just moves the logs across. Now I have to say you are technically correct. I mean of course this thing is just essentially moving logs, but the big news here is the fact that this moves all of the logs across into an easily farmable area. So for example, if you were to go out into a jungle, first off you'd have to move across to the jungle, you'd then have to move between all of the trees, taking them all out, and also you'd be destroying a jungle, which isn't particularly good. This allows you to get all of the wood in one nice and easy location, so you can just run across, taking it out as you go, which is something that I personally really quite like, I use them all the time, and I can promise you that they're more efficient than just taking out trees. Now if you're not quite convinced, then there is a world download down in the description that you can check out for yourselves, have a play around and see just how fast this design is. Now once you've downloaded the world, you've seen how quick this is, you're probably going to want to build it, so let's crack on with that tutorial. So you want to get things started with this 9x9 area, and the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be chucking in our sticky pistons. So you want to go two blocks up like this, and it's going to be right in the center right here, and you want to place two sticky pistons facing across just like that, and you can remove those blocks. Now these sticky pistons need to be six blocks high, so that's three, four, five, and six and those are going to be your double piston extender. So we're going to be using those for reference because they're pretty handy to have around. So you want to place a transparent object right there and then you want to place a dirt block down at the bottom here which of course is where your tree is going to be placed. So then you want to place a block with a dispenser facing across. That's of course going to be your bone meal dispenser and now it's time to start chucking in all of your pistons. So you want to go a couple blocks out like this and you want to place your sticky pistons facing across just like that. And these need to go five blocks across. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's also going to be five blocks tall. So you just want to do all of that right the way up to the top right here. And there we go. That is one side of your leaf crusher done. Then the other side, it only needs to be four blocks wide, but it needs to be five blocks tall once again. So you just want to place a couple blocks out like this once more. And we're going to place our sticky pistons facing inwards just like that. And all of these are going to have blocks on their faces. So that is just four like that and then five all the way up to the top and there we go so you should end up with something that looks just a little bit like this now i would suggest placing in all of your logs you want to place logs going right the way up to the top like that and logs going across like this now they don't have to face in this orientation i just quite like the way this looks but you have to use logs they can't be anything else they can be any type of log but they have to be logs that's very very important indeed so just all of these logs right here all the way in like this and these are of course going to be your leaf crushers these are going to be breaking all of the leaves there and there we go so you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this then for the final bit you just want to place a log down at the bottom here with a redstone torch on the side of it an upside down half slab and then a piece of redstone dust and that is most of your mechanism completed in terms of the piston layout and next up you want to head over to your double piston extender place a couple temporary blocks up like this then wood blocks going right the way up like this so once again your logs need to be there and they need to be sort of diagonal to your double piston extender because these are going to be powering these pistons right here when they're extended out if that makes any sense whatsoever anyway underneath your dirt block you just want to place a sticky piston with a block on its face then take out this block right here and place down a redstone torch 
Then from there, we're going to be running a repeater out into this block right here. Block up like this, redstone dust on top of both of those. That can move through there because this is a transparent block. Just an interesting little fact there. And now you just want to take your half slabs and you want to run them right the way up to the top like this with redstone dust on top of all of those. And that will power all of those pistons there. So now you want to head over like this and place two repeaters like that. You then want to place a redstone dust right there, a block here, a block here, and a block here. And now, once again, we're going to whip out the upside down half slabs. So you're going to want upside down half slabs like that, but you're also going to want upside down half slabs like this as well. So you just want to extend those out like that. Then redstone dust on top of all of those, and that is your double piston extender circuit all done and dusted, or at least in theory it is. When this piston extends, all of these pistons it should extend that as well. Okay, next thing that needs doing is the redstone clock for our dispensers. You just want to place a block like this with your spruce wood or your log or whatever type of block you're using right there. Then you want to place a block and a pressure plate right there. As you can see, I've already done a cut of this one. But anyway, you want to place a block and a pressure plate right there underneath this redstone torch. Then a comparator running out like this with redstone dust running across like that. Then redstone running right the way out the back here. Block up like this with redstone dust right there. And an upside down half slab running straight into this block right here. And then set this comparator into subtract mode. And that is everything done. So when you stand on this pressure plate, that will activate the tree farm. You can hear that our dispenser is ticking. But also this redstone dust updates this piston right here, meaning that when the tree grows, everything gets pushed across. Now for all of your leaf crushes. So you basically want to extend out your half slabs. Just run the redstone out from all of these half slabs right here. This one right here, going right the way across. And then also you're going to want to add in an upside down half slab right there and extend that one out across as well. Then it's quite simply a case of placing in all the redstone and that is everything. Now you should see that all of the signal strength is correct. You will be able to power all of these pistons from right the way down at the bottom there. And the same thing goes for the other side, but you are going to have to do a little bit of half slab in here. So you want half slabs here and then blocks like this. Then you want half slabs once again on this one because this is where your hoppers could potentially be going when you place in all of the chests in that little gap there. So what we have to do now is just, yep, your slabs and then your little L of blocks and then your slabs again, then all of your blocks. And then the top one is a tiny bit different because, of course, you know, I mentioned the signal strength earlier. You just want to run slabs going up like this and they're going to go into blocks that go right the way across like that. And then once again, fill in all of those spots with redstone. So redstone there and redstone right there and redstone right there as well and that is pretty much everything completed so if you stand on this pressure plate right here you can see that our dispenser is ticking when we place this block all of the pistons extend and yeah we get the full leaf crushing and the full extension so this is basically how your tree farm is going to be working now it's just time for the little details so first things first you want to place two blocks like this and an upside down slab or some form of block up there. That's to prevent larger trees from growing because they're a massive pain in the bum and you definitely don't want those sorts of things growing. Next up, you just want to run all of the hoppers across into your dispenser. So you just want to place those in like this. And this is where our chests are going to be going. And as you can see, we've got an absolute ton of room, but you don't want to be placing them in this gap right here because of course, this is within the five by five area. This should only be filled with wood blocks. You want to place a hopper right there. Then you want to place a double chest right there. And we're basically going to alternate the directions. So you want to place a hopper here and then your double chest and then your hopper right there. And you sort of get the picture. I mean, you can you can understand where this is going. So we're just going to alternate this right the way up to the top. But then when you reach this level, you then want to place a hopper up at the top there with a chest on top. And that's basically where you're going to be filling in all of your bone meal. And of course, once again, this area has been left clear to make way for all of the trees, which is a good thing. Now it is time to start creating your piston pusher circuits. So you want to place just some regular pistons going right the way down to the bottom. They need to be six blocks tall like this, going right the way across like that. And of course, this is where your trees are going to be pushed across in this direction. So at the end of each one of these, you then want to place just blocks like this, a block up like this, and then blocks going across like that. And then you're going to need redstone running into all of these pistons. Then of course, you're going to need some repeaters. Now, each one of those repeaters needs to be set to three ticks running out from those blocks right there. And that will push all of the blocks across nice and easily. Now, the next part is entirely up to you. You can, you can do this however you really fancy it. You could put block storage off to one side or not have block storage or whatever you really want. But this is the way that I've done things. And I think it's pretty smart because it can't actually be broken. It can't overflow, which is definitely a positive thing for these sorts of things. Because otherwise, lots and lots of things can break. 
So I'm going to show you how to build it real quick. Uh, it's not too complicated, so let's crack on. First off, we've got to head right the way over here, and we have got to go two blocks out like this, and then you want to place a movable object going up from this block right here all the way up to the top. But down at the bottom, you want to place a sticky piston facing across just like that. Then underneath that sticky piston, you want to place a block with a redstone torch. Now we're going to chuck in all of our regular pistons. You want to place a block there with regular pistons facing across right the way up to the top, just like that. And then out the back of this sticky piston, you want to place a block like this with a block down the bottom here, redstone torch there, a block up like that, and then redstone running up into this piston right here. And on top of all those, yep, you just want your redstone there. And now we're going to link up this redstone into all of these pistons, which for those of you who haven't realized, this is a smart piston circuit. If we place a block down here, as you can see, those pistons extend, but we need all of the pistons to extend, so that's how we're going to be linking them. So we're going to be getting our upside down half slabs out once again, upside down half slab there, then you're going to want an upside down half slab right there, upside down half slab there, and basically zigzag them right the way up to the top, just like this, with redstone dust on top of all of those. Then you want blocks going across like this, with redstone dust on top of all of those, and also more blocks going up like that, with once again redstone dust on top of all of those. From there, you're going to need to do just a little bit of counting because you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pistons out like that, and you want to do those right the way up to the top. So that is going to use a lot of iron, it uses quite a bit of resources, but I can promise you it's definitely worth it. Then coming off the side of all of these slabs, you just want to place a repeater there set to two ticks and it's going to be running out into this block and then you want to run blocks right the way across like this with redstone dust on top of all of those and that will connect up all of those pistons. And to be honest with you, you have to do that thing for all three of the slabs. So that is this one right here and then your repeater set to two ticks and that's going to be running into this line of redstone right here that goes right the way across just like that. And then finally for the top one as well, just blocks going right the way across like that. Obviously extend all of these out, but this is just for demonstration. Then you're going to want to add in another upside down half slab right there with redstone dust on top. And then your block with your repeater set to two ticks. And there we go, that'll power all of that redstone. Next thing that I would suggest you do is create a little platform down at the bottom right here. Then you want to place a chest on either side just like this and fill in all of the available space in your area with hoppers. So fill in all of this space here. You probably want to go into fill in the space underneath this block right here as well, just in case. And all of these ones as well, just run them all into this chest because of course, this is where all of your saplings are going to be going. So it's pretty good that you have all of that. So this area as well, I mean, just leave no area untouched because you want to pick up pretty much all the saplings that you possibly can and it's always smart to fill in that space. But anyway, there we go. That is the entire design completed and that is everything done. So grab some bone meal and chuck it into the top chest or just chuck it straight into the dispenser and then grab yourself some saplings and hold down the right click button. As you can see, the entire tree farm is now up and running. So if these things grow, they also get pushed across and get chucked across into the bulk storage system. So this thing is now up and working and you can get wood for days upon days upon days. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. I've had a lot of fun creating it. It was really nice coming back to this original design and creating a much better version. I can't wait to build this on the Hermitcraft server. I'm going to adapt in my design so that it is like this one because it's just a tiny bit faster, but that really does make the difference. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'll see you later.